Hey, hey, what's up everybody? It's Rutech. Today, we'll be once again talking about the $700 streaming and gaming 1080p build. In this video, I'll be going over how to properly install Windows, where to get a great OEM Windows 10 key, and all of the drivers you'll want to immediately download right after you get Windows up and running. Now, if you haven't watched the first two videos in this series, I highly recommend that you go and watch them first as the first video in the series goes over why I chose the specific parts that I use for this build. And in the second video, I go over every single step on how to build the rig. It's highly detailed, so if it's your first time building, no need to worry, I cover every single step in the process. Anyway, I don't wanna waste any more time, so before we dive straight into this video guide, I would really appreciate it if you checked out my channel. I post PC tech videos, among other things. Also, if you have any comments or questions as the video goes along, be sure to drop a comment. If you like the video, drop a like, and if you enjoy the content that you're seeing, drop a sub. It really helps out the channel. So the first step is to go onto a separate computer and plug in a USB drive that has a capacity of eight gigabytes or higher so that we can download Windows 10 onto it. Then go on the Windows 10 disk image ISO file download page, which will be in my description and click download tool now. Won't take too long, it's not a very big file. Drag it onto the desktop and then double click file. It'll take a couple seconds to load, as you can tell. And once it does load, accept the software license terms. It'll then take another little bit to load. Then select Create Installation Media and click Next. Now ensure that it is the language of your preference. You have Windows 10 selected and the architecture is 64-bit. Then click Next. Make sure USB flash drive is selected. Click Next. And then ensure it's installing onto your USB drive. Then click Next and it'll install it onto the USB flash drive. This will take a little while, so you're going to want to just let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. So now that Windows 10 has successfully been downloaded onto the USB drive, it is time to plug it into the new PC. Press the boot button and then spam the BIOS button. Now the BIOS button varies from motherboard to motherboard. If you have an MSI board, the proper key to be spamming is the delete key. Now change the boot order so that it boots to the USB drive first. Now in most cases, it'll already do this since there's nothing to boot to on the SSD anyway, but in case you're using an old SSD, this is the proper step to take. While you're in the BIOS, another good thing to do is activate XMP. This will allow your RAM to run at higher clock speeds if it's capable. Once you've done these one or two steps, click the X on the upper right hand corner and click yes to confirm. It'll then reboot the computer and boot to the Windows installation prompt. If you see a black screen with the Windows logo and a loading bar, then you're on the right track. When you reach this window, ensure the correct language and time format are selected, and then click Install Now. It'll then take a little bit and start setting up the process for the installation of Windows. Then click I don't have a product key. You'll be able to put in this product key later on. Then click Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro and then click Next. It'll then take another couple seconds to load, then click I accept the license terms and click Next. Now click Install Windows Only and select the drive that you're installing Windows onto. Now I highly recommend you install Windows onto an SSD as it'll make Windows a lot faster. And then let Windows install. This will take around 20 to 30 minutes. So just let your PC sit, go get yourself a nice little snack or something, watch some TV and let Windows download. Now head over to Digital Chill Mart, best place to get a Windows 10 license. I've been working with these guys for a long time, so trust me, this is a trustworthy website to get a really cheap Windows key from. Then you're going to want to get the key for whatever Windows version you've downloaded, being Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro, and then click Add to Cart and Check Out. You'll then be emailed the Windows license key after you purchase it. Once you have the activation key, Click the search bar on the bottom left, type in activation, and then click activation settings. 
Now you should see something that says activate windows right around this area. It should look like this. And that's where you're going to want to type in the key that you received from digitalchillmart.com. Now that the operating system is up and running, it's time to download the drivers and other essentials. So first up, the chipset. Now remember this link will be in the description. Head over to AMD's support website. Click on chipsets and then click AMD socket AM4. And finally click B450 and then submit. It'll then take you to this page where you can find the Windows 10 64-bit edition of the AMD chipset drivers. Click download, give it a couple seconds to download and then drag it to your desktop. Then double click it. Click yes when it asks to make changes to your device and give it a couple seconds to load. Make sure everything is checked and then click install. It'll then take a little bit to download all the necessary drivers for your AMD Ryzen processor to properly run on your system. Then click restart, which will restart your system and put into effect all the drivers that you just downloaded. After your system has rebooted, go to the search bar in the bottom left and type in power and click edit power plan. Then at the very top, click power options. Make sure you have AMD Ryzen balanced or AMD Ryzen high performance selected. After that's finished, head over to the same exact website, the AMD support site, which again is in my description. Click processors, then click AMD Ryzen processors, and then click Ryzen 5, and then of course the Ryzen 5 3600 and click submit. Then go to the Windows 10 64-bit edition download prompt, and click download. Once it downloads, drag it to your desktop like usual and double click the program. Click yes and give it some time to load. Now I already have it installed on the system, but here it should say install. Then of course go through the installation process. Next up, MSI Red Dragon. This is the program for the motherboard. So head over to the MSI Red Dragon download page, which is in my description. Click download and then drag it to your desktop. Then you're going to want to right click the zip file you downloaded and extract it using WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, the download page is also in my description. Then click the Dragon Center file, click the Dragon Center executable file to download it. Click next, click I accept, click next again and click install. Now it won't tell you when it's finished installing, it'll just close the installation progress bar window. So all you're going to want to do at that point is restart your computer and it'll be ready to be used. And last but not least, the driver for our graphics card, the RX 580. So head over to AMD's official RX 580 page, click drivers and support, then click Windows 10 64-bit edition, and then click the top download link. Click on the just downloaded executable file, click yes, and then click install. Give it a minute or two and then it'll pop up with this screen. Now your screen may flicker a little bit during its download process, but don't worry, that's completely normal. And then just let it download. So yeah, that will do it for this video on demonstrating how to install all the proper drivers and necessities for the $700 build. In the next video, we'll be going over benchmarks. So expect to see how well this PC can perform on games at 1080p. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, have any comments or questions, drop a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoy the content that you're seeing, drop a sub. Thanks for watching. Peace out.